Hello, hello. I wanted to pop on here because I had a little idea. I was going through my blushes the other day and I saw that I have purchased quite a lot of blushes this year. It's September and I have this whole big bag of just blush. And I wanted to do a little bit of a, um, I guess battle of the blushes in a way, but not really a battle. I'm just gonna show you all the new blushes that I got this year and tell you which ones I love, which ones are just okay, and which ones like really are top notch in my humble, humble opinion. So if you wanna see which blushes, a battle of the blushes for this video, just keep on watching. All right, so I have this whole of blushes that I purchased this year. Now, some of them came out this year, and when I do my little description, I will tell you which ones, and some of them I just purchased this year, so they're new to me. But I thought it would be fun just to see what I got because it's a lot. So I'm just gonna go into this bag and pull out whatever I have on top and talk about it, I guess. <laughs> tell you all about it and tell you if I like them or not. So first things first, I recently purchased this new Fenty Cheek Suede Powder Blush in Bacon Cakes 01. On the site, on the promotional pictures and on Sephora, this color was like this. Nice nude and I've been on the hunt for the perfect nude blush. So I was like, you know what? I have all the pinks, I have all the purples or whatnot, and I have all the peaches that I could ever want. I want a good, nice, beautiful nude blush. And this looked so pretty online. When I got it, it is so dark. Yes, it's a nude blush. I understand that. However, it is way darker in person than it was online. The formula is, oopsie, the formula is beautiful. It is soft, it is buttery, and just gorgeous. But, like, when you swatch it, it doesn't come out, come out this dark, but on the face, it's very dark. However, I do quite like this blush. I like the formula, so... Maybe I will try out another shade, but this, I'm not disappointed in the formula and I do like the color, but I am disappointed in the fact that it looks totally and completely different online than it does in person. Next, I got a bunch of Mario blushes this year. Um, I don't know why I pulled out. Oh, there's more. Oh, no. I pulled out so many, but... I got a bunch of them, but these are my two, I guess, favorites. So I, oh, so sorry. Um, this peach one and this hot pink one, the formula of these blushes is just insane. And again, I'm just reaching out for in my bag for whatever is on top. So some of them are powders, some of them are cream and this is these two stood out to me first of all mario products can do no wrong in my humble opinion i love them all his eyeshadow palettes his uh bronzer situation things these are gorgeous and i highly highly recommend the mario blushes the mario cream blushes i have not tried the powder ones but these are so beautiful and I also have another form, uh, another type of his blush in there when I get to it. Also very lovely. These are beautiful and they last on me forever, a long time. So in the Florida humidity and everything, beautiful, beautiful formula, beautiful blushes. Ooh, I got this dirty. Highly recommend. I, this, one of my favorite purchases this year. Okay. Next. I got the House Labs by Lady Gaga blush in Pomelo Peach. This is a powdered blush, but it feels 
I guess like it feels very creamy but it is a powder and this is a beautiful peach color comes out beautifully on the cheeks I have not tried any other color from this line and I do quite like this blush um, I'm not going to be purchasing anymore only because I have so many blushes but I do enjoy this blush moving on I purchased okay so all the blushes all the products I ever talk about I purchased myself so it's redundant for me to say that I purchased the purchase just know that everything was purchased by me this Tom Ford blush in love scene one it is super super pretty would I buy this again probably not I don't think these blushes are anything special it's pretty but it's way too overpriced and there are other Tom Ford things that I would rather buy than their blushes their their original old formula is some of my favorite blushes and those were amazing these are okay they're pretty are they special for this price they should be going on my cheeks themselves so though I like this blush I don't recommend you run out and buy it it's just okay moving on we have these road what are they called pocket blushes and I got mine in spicy Marg Marge I don't know guys I know a lot of people are complaining oh no I bet you my daughter got into this I bet you but I honestly I love this packaging I don't know what it is it's just so cute and this color is amazing even though again my daughter got into this it is they are first of all uber pigmented and this color even though it's corally it is a beautiful beautiful coral and I quite like it I'm thinking of getting that piggy color or maybe even a darker color for winter I do enjoy the packaging so I like this one very pretty okay next lawless balance lawless pinch my cheeks valentine blush pink again shocker very pretty I do enjoy this is like a cool cool Barbie pink compared to this one which is like more warm very very pretty cream color uh, I do enjoy this one I will probably get another color of this maybe a cooler one for the fall and winter I do like these next I have this Drunk Elephant O Blues Rosy Drops in the road, obviously rose. Uh, was it worth it? No, I barely ever use this. Uh, it's like it's more highlighty. It's okay. I wouldn't spend my money on this. The bronzy drops I do like. This so so not a fan. Probably would not be purchasing again and don't recommend. Okay, moving on. I have the other Mari Makeup by Mario blush formula. I think these are not new per se, but I believe this color is new. So this is a another like rosy color. Let me see. I wonder if it's the same as the other one. Did I tell you which color? Raspberry. Let's see, this one was in Paradise Pink. I just want to compare them. Very similar. You could say, well, this one is more pink and this one is more, they're both pink, but I don't know how to explain it. This one is more, more, I don't know. I guess on camera it looks the same. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I like them both. Uh, I prefer this packaging to this packaging to be honest so if that tells you anything next next I have I bought 
the Georgia Armani Luminous Silk Cheek Tints. Che <laughs> Cheek Tints. And this is in 53. This is my favorite. I also got the orange one. I did not put it in here because it would be here forever. But this is such a pretty color. I use it like as a base for something. I don't use it on its own because it's too... Um, pastel but it is a beautiful color and I do love them next I got the ABH Anastasia Barely Blurring Serum Blushes and the color I got is peach are we noticing a little trend here a lot of the blushes that came out this year are cream or liquid funnily enough the new ones this is a actually a very pretty peach and it surprisingly looks very good on my skin tone even though like I've said before not a lot of uh, bl peach blushes and orange blushes look good on my skin tone. Let's move into a little bit of powdered blushes. I got this VIP pink, the Duet Baked du Blush Duo in VIP pink and I have to say I am obsessed with these blushes, to be honest with you. Let's, let me swatch them. I have this one and I have the gold and peach one and I love them both. I love it so much that I, when she came out with the bronzers, I ran and I got the bronzers. I got two colors of the bronzers and I love, absolutely love both. Uh, this, this brand is beautiful and I really, really like it. Okay. Kosas. Kosas came out with the Hype Blushes Life, uh, Blushes Life Blushes, and I got two, but I'm only going to show you one in the color Hype. This is a rosy pink one. It is beautiful. I do love this blush formula. Highly, I would buy this. I, I would recommend if you don't have a lot of blushes and you just wanted something this color these are beautiful next i got the nars uh blush in sex appeal and i have to say packaging is amazeballs um color itself is bleh. uh it's more of a highlighter on me so to call it a blush I don't know I'm not a fan I would not repurchase but I am a sucker for packaging and this hot pink is amazing do not run out and buy it <laughs> okay let's see what do we have next rare beauty blushes these came out this year I believe uh, powder blushes and this is in the color joy uh, these are beautiful and they're very super soft very 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 shiny and glowy and everything they do accentuate all the texture that you may have on your skin pores and whatnot so if you're not into that i don't recommend these i have two colors i have this one and another one and i don't really reach for them that much even though they are super pretty blushes and the formula is very nice moving on Fenty Beauty hot cheeks velour blush lighters another very similar color and kind of I guess formula you would say to actually it looks just like the rare beauty joy pretty much the same color same thing accentuates all all the texture that you have though the colors are super pretty you know be careful if you do have a lot of texture next next we have the new hourglass unreal liquid blushes i got mine in the color moment can we just take a moment <laughs> wink wink i don't know where i got cut off but let's take a moment and talk about this sticker right here i mean this blush is not cheap right it's not cheap so to just put a sticker with the color on i would have preferred that they would like maybe etch it on here or something but 
whatever maybe that's just me tell me if you're an, a person who that bothers because like it bothers me for this price but i digress the blushes are beautiful and they do dry down and they do last on me all day and i do like this color it's like a little bit of a burnt orange and i think in the fall it would look beautiful on me next i have succumbed and i bought the milk makeup jelly blushes i know everybody loves them uh including my daughter this is the color burst i am not a fan i don't get it i do know how to use it and it looks nice but whatever it's gimmicky to me personally and i do love milk products but i am not a fan and i don't think i would buy it again just say on just say on okay next we got this maybelline sun blush kisser blushes i got a few of these i got one pink one that is very similar to the armani one i wanted to see if they were dupes um this is a again another one of those very pretty burnt orange blushes it is a nice formula so i do like it um it is a drugstore option for all of these liquid blushes that came out right now. It is a very nice formula. It dries down, lasts all day. So, no complaints. I think I, I, I mentioned I have two of them. Okay, Say. Say is a very nice company. Um, and they came out with these blushes. I have two colors i have the pink one and i have this like orange one what is this called this is called poppy i pulled out poppy because i used the armani pink one but this one is so pretty for someone who is not a big fan of coral and orange and beachy blushes i sure do have a lot of them <laughs> okay let's see what else you got the list lys blush in courageous i guys this color looks so pretty i've used like right now it's pretty much the same as the maybelline one but the maybelline one you have to work with real quick because they dry down and once they dry down they don't move but the lys is very creamy and very um blendable and this one just looks so beautiful on the cheek i'm kind of like i got the bronzers too the cream bronzers and i'm obsessed i really do love it so i think i want to get more colors in the lys blush and then we have the pat mcgrath what are these called divine cream blush bl uh, cream blushes and this one is an alluring nude i got two i got the red one this is even though she had she, these have been out this color is new for her just came out actually this is a very nice nude i really really like it and i'm surprised i haven't gotten the other ones when they came out because i just felt like the packaging is very cheap for the price that you pay for these and it is pat mcgrath right so we're expecting um packaging to be amazing but this one um this one is very pretty and i honestly went for it because the red one spoke to me but this i like this one way more and it does last on the cheek for me so packaging could use a little work but overall it's a very nice blush moving on obviously my dior rosy glow in pink lilac i love this color it's it looks very 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 scary in the pen but on the face well it doesn't come off that well but on the face it comes off really pretty and i am obsessed with this color like i love all their blushes but this and the pink one are beautiful but i got the pink one last year so it doesn't count refi refi cream blush in papaya 
I really wanted this because I saw all the, you know, the advertisements on Instagram get you. Uh, I am not a fan of this formula at all. At all. Not a fan. Color is gorgeous, very bright, you know, blended out, blah, blah, blah. But I will not be purchasing any more of these. This formula kind of dries down. It's immovable. Im it's very hard to manipulate. I'm not a fan. Anyway, two more. We got the new Patrick Ta blushes that came out that was very hard to get and not too much. This is a very what is it like nudie this is the powder oh sorry and this is the cream very very pretty this is a perfect everyday type of blush cannot say enough about this i love patrick ta products i love his blushes and that's it not much to say last but not least is this the newest one that I got is the Rouge Blush Color and Glow in 257 Dior Riviera. Oh, it is pretty. It is pretty. The highlighter is beautiful. The blush is pretty. I do not want to invest in the other ones. I thought I thought I did, but I don't think I want to buy any more of these. They're too expensive for what they really are, honestly. And I have so many other beautiful blushes that I don't think I'm gonna purchase anymore. However, they are very beautiful. And if you love Dior and you love to buy their stuff, these are great quality blushes. Obviously can't say that they're bad, they're Dior. So that is it ladies and gents uh, that is it for all the new blushes that i got this year the year is not over we have a lot of stuff coming up right a lot of new holiday releases that are coming out and all that and everything uh, i hope you liked this video i hope you liked my blushes uh let me know which ones you got from these if you love them like them if you regret the purchase and see you in the next one bye